Okay, stop us if this sounds familiar. You go out to a restaurant or a bar, you have a drink, maybe you have one more, then you wonder, am I okay to drive? Well, there's a company that's putting breathalyzers in bars. And tonight they tell us they're looking to expand, maybe even to sporting venues like Chase Field. 3TV's Karina Sun is live in Tempe with what it means for drinkers and the fight against drunk driving. Karina? The police say that this weekend dozens of people will be arrested for DUI. One Valley company says they want to take that number down to zero and their machine could be the answer. It's Friday night and the alcohol is flowing. I've had a shot and approximately three quarters of a drink. Mark Castle says right now he feels lucid enough to get behind the wheel. Maybe a point zero five. But this machine, the alcohol breathalyzer, says otherwise. Castle blew a .09 that's over the legal limit of .08, and that's the idea behind a Valley company. I'd see all these people getting DUIs, leaving, driving drunk. So what I wanted to do is make it more convenient for people to um, test their blood alcohol content before they leave the club to see if they were capable of driving. Freddie Krems is co-owner of Blow Safe, the state's exclusive dealer for the alcohol breathalyzer. Right now, there are only about a dozen of these in the state, but Krems says he's talking to a bunch of other bars and restaurants, including Chase Field. It costs a dollar to use the machine, and Krem says it's accurate within one hundredths of a percent. Is anything that will help reduce people being out uh, driving while intoxicated, certainly we're all for it. But Steve uh, Martos with Phoenix Police says he has some concerns that customers will misuse the breath test. Rather than trying to determine what your alcohol level is, maybe determine how much alcohol you can drink. Still, managers say it's been useful for them. And, and a machine seems to be a lot more effective way to show them, hey, I'm, I'm definitely intoxicated tonight. You don't have somebody like an authority figure or a, some random bartender saying, hey, you're drunk. It was a little higher than what I thought it would be just because it's been almost an hour and it's just a 16-ounce beer. And that women, woman, just FYI, did blow a .06. Now, another issue is liability. Krem says the machine is supposed to be used for entertainment purposes only, and bars cannot be held responsible, let's say, if one of their patrons blows over the legal limit, gets in a car, and then drives away. But police say it's really too early to tell how all of this will play out. Reporting live in Tempe, Karina Sun, 3TV.